Mr. Bernal here, Hearts Technology Coordinator, and I suppose you're wondering what this image on the screen is. It's just a, a quick tutorial on storing your stuff, and it all starts with a, the basic desktop PC. Whoops. Desktop PCs, they had a tower, they had a monitor, they had a keyboard, and a mouse. These all are parts of the PC. The actual computer part is this tower, and there's the monitor, which is just like a TV screen, but plugged into the computer. Keyboard for input, and another mouse for input. Um, so all your stuff is stored on the computer, usually on a hard drive. Hard drive looks like this. Ooh, hard drive. Um, inside the hard drive is a platter. Looks like that. On the platter is a bunch of ones and zeros. Ones and zeros are basically how computers hold the data. Um, your phone has storage in it, uh, but it's on a chip. That's fine. Chips like a, a memory card. Um, information stored there. If your phone isn't backed up to the cloud, the cloud, what's that? Um, then if you drop your phone and in, into water and it dies, all the stuff on your phone goes with it. That's why you want to back up your pictures that are irreplaceable somewhere other than just on your phone. So what is the cloud? So you go to... You know, here's the cloud. What does that mean? Um, well, there are certain kind of computers that are just a bunch of hard drives. They're called rack mount servers, net network attached storage. Here's a, a one of my own rack mount hard drives. The reason that they do this is that this particular computer, you can unplug the hard drive when one dies and put another one in. What the cloud looks like in real life is a huge room with a bunch of rack mount servers all holding hard drives and Google or Microsoft or whoever's running it, Amazon, they all have huge cloud services. It's just a bunch of hard drives and, and your stuff will be assigned to this one little hard drive and this somewhere and this server farm somewhere. So it's on a computer somewhere else. That's basically what the cloud means is, is it's not in the internet, it's not in the network, it's on some computer somewhere else. Um, and they just, you know, they've got their storage set up so if it won't be lost. You know, they've got multiple hard drives. They use something called RAID, so all the information is backed up. So they, your stuff's safe in the cloud. Um, so now let's go to your Google Drive. Um, to organize your Google Drive, now all your stuff is ones and zeros. So this is just a graphical representation of what your data looks like in the cloud. So let's see, I'm gonna to go to uh, one of my folders. What you should do, now this is called, the, your, your main drive folder is called your root folder, the, the, the top folder that, hold, that everything is in. If you have not organized your root folder, then you should do so, and here's a way to do it. So we're gonna go into, um, I'm just gonna use a, a, um, one of my uh, root folder, one of my own folders, and show you the pattern of stuff to set up. So let's go to um, digital computers, and I'm going to here. I've already made a folder called 2020 2021. So that's this coming school year. So what you should do is, no matter what year in school you are, is make a folder for this school year, and then you're going to go into that folder and make some new folders. And I'm going to make a uh, you can right click, I right click to make that. You can also click on new, click on new folder and say uh, P1 um, English. And then that makes a folder. And then I'm going to go to a uh, new folder, P2 Geometry. New folder, P3. Biology. Get out there. And uh, so biology, there is create. So I'm going to make a folder for each one of my my classes that I have. Once I get all the all six folders made, I'll have a play. And I, then I want to move all the stuff that I I have my Google Drive into the folder that matches whatever subject. This way, I I can be organized. So now if I go back out to my um, here I should now I should make a, another folder for 
And now go back into 2020, 2021. And if we, so, oh, let's see, I forgot to put on, I can rename if I, if I don't get the, so what I want to do is when I rename these folders or I name these folders, I want to get the format they're named in exactly the same. And the reason I'm going to, um, I can sort this. Now, the reason I put P1 English, P2 Geometry, P3 Biology is the Google will sort by the first letter or number in a file name or folder name. So that's why I put the period first because then it will sort the folders in period order. So then I can organize, uh, I can organize my, let's see, P4. and so forth and so on. So now there's there's my fourth period, I'm, it's all ready to go. So the, the idea is that now when I do an assignment for biology, I will put the assignment into the biology folder. And I can make, you know, I can go here and I can say new Google Doc and I can say new Google Slide, Google Sheet, whatever. So whatever I make, whatever resources I create from biology class, everything goes there so then I can ha I, I can find it again um, and that's it so that just this is just a way for you to organize your own work so that you can find it I've seen so many students with Google Drives with everything is in the root folder hundreds of files that you can't find anything now you can search there's a way to search in Google Drive and type in the search the search window right here but it's uh, so much easier to to search, to have everything organized so you can find it. Um, that's all for now. So you're gonna create your Google Drive folder structure and organize all your resources.